Welcome back. We're heading off to Orlando, Florida for ICAST 2024. Let's go. So right now we are at ICAST on the water and we're gonna be testing out the latest let's kayaks. See. Come with me and let's jump right in. Today we are at ICAST 2024 and this is the East Cape Skinu. Let's check it out. Hey guys, what's going on? The show this hasn't even Kevin. opened yet. I know, the show hasn't even opened yet. Hey everybody, here is a bad mama jamma. The show hasn't even started yet. I haven't seen him in four years, I think. It's been a while. It's true. Um, we're gonna talk about this real quick. So today, everybody's building essentially John boats out of uh, Roto Molded. We're going the opposite effect. What you're looking at is a technical micro holding skiff for up to two anglers. It's built like a skiff, vacuumed and fused. We've been infusing since 2003, closed molding. It has rub rail like you'd find on a skiff. The rod holders are molded in in the bench seats. We have one in the front, one in the back. They're deep seating so you can stand on it so you can pull. For the show, we have custom camo with a Redfish V Marine push pull holder and uh, push pull spools. We have a uh, custom 14 foot uh, V Marine push pull that you see here. C deck on the floor, C deck here. We left the carbon exposed because number one, it adds weight. And number two, it's just beautiful to look at. We live in Florida. I fish. I had this outside in the middle of the day. Does it get hot? Yeah, but everywhere that you touch and would fish, it does not. But if you wanted it colored, not a problem. If you want it in purple, you want it in pink, you want it in tan, you want it in ice blue, it's not a problem. So let's talk about use, okay? If you want a pond hopper, if you want, uh, if, if this is your mothership, if you have a sport fish, if you have a flats boat, if you have a bass boat, and you want to get into uh, bedding bass, you want to get in little pocket creeks, this will get you there. But again, you got a rolled edge, so you can put accessories on it. If you want to do your tracks and stuff that I know a lot of the paddlers like, no, we, we didn't even get to the best part though. I mean, I want to almost rush this part. It is like 49 pounds, I think you said, 50, 40, 49, 50 four, pounds. 49 pounds, we started building prototypes. That is insane, guys. <laughs> like, I also want to give thanks. We worked with uh, legendary angler Flip Pallet. Flip and I are friends. He's been working uh, with us for over a year. I, he needs no introduction. And he basically said, Kevin, let's take this and let's rig this thing out. We used to have a raised transom, we flattened it, and the reason why is so you can lay this upside down and you can slide it in a truck bed or on top of a car with your racks, or you can leave it right side up. This thing is at 12 feet, eight inches, 41 inches wide, and with a tapered scalloped side, the shear line or freeboard, it's low here, a little higher there, so when you put your electronics, or if you put your trolling motor, um, you don't have the uh, the low bow effect. So literally I could sit on this, walk it, walk the nose, cast my fly rods. But again, where else can you find something this simple, this targeted that is made to fish? And also if you duck hunt, this is what you want with your deeks and your dog. It is $7,000, but I think when you visually see this and you look at what you're getting, where you can go and how easy it is to portage, it, wait, it makes up for itself. But it is built just like a technical pulling skiff like we've been doing for 21 years. Now, Kevin, you had another boat here yes. that <laughs> totally blew my mind as well. Yes. Um, let's quick take at least a peek of that. Okay, let's go take a look because I think you guys are gonna like this. Even if you this don't, is, you, even you'll if appreciate you're not even it. South you'll fishing, appreciate correct. it. Denny's part of East Cape. Denny was on the R&D of the drift. He led the project. And for three years together, we've been working on this. This is our baby. We have a prototype right now at Cahutta Fly Shop. Those guys have been rowing it. There's six guides out of that shop and they've been rowing it now for the last year. If you've ever fished for trout, smallies, you ever river fish, you've always seen, you know, the guy rowing. And he's usually the guide. And then you have obviously the anglers in the front and back. This is a drift boat. But what you're looking at is we created a new segment. The industry has been stale. I can tell you right now there's four or five brands and it looks like they all copied each other. Everything about this boat is new. So what you're looking at is a new shape, a new construction process, again, vacuum infusion, built like your typical skiff style drift boat, but it has a built-in spray rail if you want to bend down Justin. It has a slick bottom to protect it. And here's the cool thing. 
300 pounds fully rigged. No and, way. Yeah. What? And here's the other thing. If you want to take a guide box, rip the seat out, put a guide box in. If you want a double cooler, put that in, put the seat on top. If you want to sight fish for carp and smallmouth and trout, you can put a regular skiff style casting platform with a lean bar. And not only now do you have a technical uh, skiff style drift boat, but you also have a technical sight fishing machine meant for the river. It has a low shear line because the boat has more volume than the typical uh, drift boat. So, and also because of the lightweight, it sits higher, but with the lower freeboard, you're not worried about the wind. This thing is very maneuverable. The anchor system is set up as a multiplier, tornado anchor, regal, Zidco, as far as the, uh, uh, the pulley system, oversized stainless steel. A lot of builders won't use this. Floating rod holders that go on the side instead of laying in a trough. The boat is shallower, more open. Clients like getting in and out. I mean, just everything about this boat. True R&D, guys, cut with a five axis uh, milling machine that hasn't ever been done in the drift boat industry. We built three plugs, <laughs> two molds, two prototypes. Here it is. Retail price on this boat is 20,500, but it comes with all the best stuff from all the best companies. And again, if you want the inside painted, it's not a problem. We left it exposed so everybody can see how beautiful this boat is. I'm not sure why you would do that. <laughs> I mean, to me, that seems like a little bit of a sin, but I, I appreciate him trying to take care of the customer. Yes. And uh, to all the viewers that watch Justin, I love this guy. I haven't seen him forever. Like I said, it's kind of cool before the show opens, we got to do this because I know we're, I probably won't be able to do this later. But Justin, I just want to say thank you on behalf of everybody at Eastcape, um, man. I hope everybody watching loves the show and loves the coverage, but I can tell you blood, sweat, and tears went into the, to these two boats. Well, thank you so much for sharing, and I will have it linked down in the description. Check it out. See you guys, brother. On top of the morning, on top of the wave, on top of the team, on top of the day, on top of my purpose, I do, I create. Y'all wanna copy? But we're not the same